Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part C of question number ten. And again, in this also, we are given a quadrilateral ABCD where AB is given parallel to DC, and E and F are the midpoints of non-parallel sides AD and DC. You have to calculate EF if when AB and DC given, and here you have to calculate AB when DC and EF given. This question is same as the first and the second part of this same question, which is question number ten. If I join this, which is the diagonal, and if I draw a parallel line, so this will be O. So according to midpoint theorem, E is the midpoint which is given to you, and if I draw a parallel line, so it should meet the Midpoint of the third side, and this line must be parallel to this, and this line must be equal to half of this. So I can write it as E O must be half of A B. Similarly, this is because midpoint theorem says that if I join the midpoint of Two sides in a triangle, so this should be parallel to this third side, and this should be half of this side. Similarly, these two are the midpoints. And if I join the midpoints in triangle, this which is D B C. So clearly, if I join the midpoints, so this side again should be parallel to this third side, and this side should be equal to half of this third side. So in triangle D B C. O F must be equal to half of C D. So if I join, if I add these two equations, so adding first and second, A O plus O F must be equal to half of A B plus C D. I have taken half as common, and A O plus O F, A O plus O F can be written as E F. So In place of this, I can write it as EF equals to half of AB plus CD. So this can be considered as a formula to solve this question. Here you have to find EF, which is this, if AB and DC is given to you. So you can find EF if you substitute the value of AB, which is six. And CD, which is four. This is half. Six plus four is ten. So the value of EV should be five centimeters. So the value of EF must be five centimeters. Same formula can be applied in this this second part. Here again, the formula will be EF will be equal to half of AB plus CD. Here. EF is given as nine centimeter half. You have to find AB and CD is given to you as eight centimeters. To solve this, we can cross multiply it. So two will be multiplied with nine will be eighteen, and one will be multiplied with AB plus eight. So this will be same as AB plus eight. So the value of AB will be eighteen. This positive term when shifted to this side should be minus eight. Because to solve these kind of equations, we have to shift all the variable to one side and all the constants to another side. The numbers are called constants, and the value which we have to find is called variable. So I am shifting this constant to this side. And one thing is important: plus sign get changed into negative, plus negative into plus, multiply into divide, and divide into multiply. So AB will be 18 minus 8 will be 10 centimeters. So the value of AB here should be equal to 10 centimeters. If you are not able to get how this formula is formed, you can check the first two part of this same question, which is question number 10. Then you will get how this formula has evolved. So this is how we can solve this third part also. Thank you.